and welcome to Bethan's Kitchen and Garden. Today I need to do a harvest because I've been away for about 10 days and um, the, the beans, for instance, have just grown really big. So I need to harvest as many of those as possible today. And um, I think I've also got some courgettes that should be marrows and I got some Heinz tomatoes, which are a bush variety and they should be in need of harvesting today as well. So I'm gonna get that done. And then um, I've got a few jobs to do around the plot. So I'll show you what I'm doing as I go. Um, it's very windy out, so it'll probably either be a voiceover or a montage. So anyway, let's get going and see what's occurring around the garden. Here are the two courgette plants which have got powdery mildew. So I just want to take off all the leaves with the powdery mildew and then we'll see what we've got after that. I've also just picked the first Heinz variety which are in the basket there. I've had a proper hack back of these courgette plants now and they are still producing. There is um, one growing there and there's a couple growing the other plant and uh, it also means that more air can get to the tomatoes now uh, but they are looking pretty sorry for themselves the weight of the branches are just pulling the the stems over so I can't do anything with that now because if I touch the branches they'll, they'll just snap so we'll just get whatever we get off those and um, this is what I ended up with. Two massive marrows and two small courgettes. And then when I was in this area, I thought, oh, I might as well take out all the beets that were here because they were ready to come out. So I got a nice little harvest of the beetroot. And over here were the onions. And these, well, they haven't grown very big. They should be a lot bigger than that. but. Um, I think they were shaded out a lot with the um, uh, with the courgette plants. So there's probably a few in there for pickling or um, roasted whole. And uh, that's my second tub of um, uh, compost, essentially, um, greens to go in the compost. I just need to pick up the rest of those apples. So let's go and have a look at something else. The next part of the garden I'm going to harvest are these beans. And I wanted to show you the difference between these ones and the other two that are set up exactly the same way. But the only difference is that this one here has got um, an irrigation system set up and the other ones don't. And I think it's striking the difference between how these beans are still going and how the other beans are not. And even though I've been watering the other beans, uh, they still don't seem to have done as well as these ones that are set up with the irrigation system. Here is the harvest so far. I've got the onions and beetroot from those side beds. These are the beans from the planter, the square planter. The two courgettes, the Heinz tomatoes. They always have a little bit of this sort of um, brown stuff. You just cut that off and they'll be fine. And then I've got the blue lake and the cobra beans from around the front. And then these are silver skin onions that I need to pickle. So I'm over by my other squash plants now. And similarly, these have got um, powdery mildew on their leaves. So I'm gonna take all the powdery mildew off and see what we've got left underneath. And I did notice the other day that I've got a little butternut squash growing there so I'm just going to take off the rest of this trailing vine because I want all the energy to go into growing that little squash. I've done rather a drastic 
chop on the squash on this courgette plant as well there is still a courgette growing on here as a uh, there's one there if it ever focuses oh there we are right so there's one there and then there's these two crown prints i don't really need any more than there than them and there's this one butternut squash which is a bit disappointing because um i use butternut squash more but um as i was over in that area there i decided to take out a corn kernel to s corn kernel corn cob to see if the kernels were any good and they look ripe they look ready because um if i ps1 which is not piercing now um sort of milky sap will come out i don't know if that's picking up but um it did anyway so they are ready now for harvesting so we'll work our way through that this week and then once all those ones are eaten out the way or um, frozen out the way i can clear that area and get something planted for the winter my next job now is to harvest these beans because there are a few runner beans on here we really have to go hunting for them uh, which is what i'm gonna do and there's also some beans french beans around here as well so i shall get them and then over here There are some more beans hiding behind this big cosmos, the purple ones there. Oh, and there's some green ones over there too. So there's still lots to harvest and um, I better get on and do that. I've just finished the harvest on these beans and i'm now up to my eyeballs in beans i expect these will go in the freezer for later on in the year but i wanted to show you this humongous bean i know some of you on here grow long beans well i i don't grow anything for exhibit exhibiting and um, if i was trying to i probably wouldn't be able to manage it but um i've uh, seemed to have managed this humongous one there that's almost the size of the basket so let's go and find something else to do i have a right tidy obsession to do in my greenhouse these ones this side here have definitely got a bit out of hand they really need trimming back especially as this is coming out of the greenhouse to meet me and um i also need to tidy up these ones because i need to trim the tops off a lot of them this one is going all the way over there so you can see that's hitting the roof up there so i need to tie in and give these a trim and just generally tidy up in this greenhouse my cucumber plants i need to cut away all those dead foliage there i've also got a couple of cucumbers to pop in as well i have some uh what they've got aubergines growing it's just come around a bit there we are there's there's a couple growing on that plant there and when i was hunting the other day let's see if i can move everything out the way without breaking things right down there is a watermelon I'm sorry if I can't get in focus, I think my hand is in the way. But there we are. So this one plant produced one watermelon. So that is a good plant. There it is. It's, uh, I don't think there's anything anywhere else. But then I never expected that one to be down there. So yeah, that's really good. 
So there's progress on that. As it's warm in the greenhouse at the moment, I'm going to get on with planting out these carrots instead. So what I've done is you can see the roots coming through there. So they need to go into the ground now. And um, I sowed a couple of carrots per pot and I'm just going to put the whole pot into the ground um, without uh, emptying the carrots out or disturbing the roots. And the ones that have got two per pot, I will cut out the strongest one and uh, plant that as well. I've also got these cucumber plants that I just mentioned. Uh, two of them are going around the front and one is going in the greenhouse. And I suppose while I'm at it, I might as well plant out this fennel and the poor looking Swiss chard, um, which has succumbed to the warm weather, I think. Here is my carrot and leek bed, which I cover over with EnviroMesh. And this end here has had uh, poor germination. So that's where I'm gonna put the carrots in pots. So I'll get on with doing that now and I'll show you what it's looking like when I'm done. So here the pots are, all safely tucked up now. Hopefully they will grow on through the autumn and I can harvest them in the winter. My next job is to plant these two cucumber plants. They are Burpress Green Tasty, which are the same ones I have in my greenhouse at the back. And um, I just need to pull out this cucumber plant that's here. It is growing that small cucumber, but it's not worth keeping this plant. So this is gonna come out and those two are gonna go in. Here are the new cucumber plants in situ. I don't know how well they'll do, but hopefully we'll get a couple of cucumbers from them um, during September, October and into November. We'll just have to see how they do, but it's worth a chance since I've sown them. And finally, I got the greenhouse cleaned out. So I was pretty ruthless and basically I stripped everything up to a few leaves left at the top where I've just got a few fruits left to ripen and it's the same with each one. So all the energy now can go into ripening these fruits and then once those are ripe and I've picked them I shall uh, take all, out all these tomato plants because last year I kept them going until well into November hoping I'd have a late crop but I just ended up with loads of botrytis and um, the plants were split and like there was all black stuff all over them so I've left them um, to do the final ripening the fruits and then they shall all go and um, I'm just thinking what to put at the base now which will probably be lettuce and uh, one or two cabbages and maybe some uh, cauliflower which can then grow on um, over the winter and hopefully ripen early in the spring. So I also did a quick sort of defoliate of the um, aubergines. So there's a couple of aubergines on the go. Um, again, we're meant to get about six fruits per plant, but I haven't had anywhere near them. I think I've only had two aubergines so far, but there is this one, which is looking hopeful. And uh, where are all the others? There was two, I think, on here. There's another couple somewhere. I also planted this cucumber white pickle, which is like a small gherkin, which I presume is white coloured. So we'll see how well that goes over this month and next month. 
I've got these cucumber plants which are um, still producing very small amount but hopefully uh, they will keep producing until the two new ones around the front kick in and then like I showed you earlier right in that corner there is the watermelon which is probably ready for harvesting soon and here is the final harvest for this week as well i showed you the basket earlier with the beans and the runner beans in but since then i have harvested some carrots and leeks while i was in that bed planting the new carrots and these are mama and tomatoes gardener's delight and rosilla from the greenhouse so they are coming a bit to the end now but still producing which is great so that's it from me for today thank you for watching i'm really pleased i got all that tidying up done um where the weather has been so warm over this summer i feel a bit disconnected with the garden as it were because i've just been coming out watering and harvesting but not really doing much so it was really nice to get into the places and just tidy up a little bit i've still got far more tidying to do and behind me there are some cabbages and uh, other brassicas so i'll be planting them out next time so if you join me then you can see what i have going on so thank you for watching and liking subscribing and commenting if you have done so i really do appreciate it and all i can say about my work around the plot today is lovely job and take care everybody